What's up guys, you're attending Homeowner 101 Water Heater Session. Uh, this is Jordan from Countryside Plumbing, Sewer, and Septic. So we're looking at a water heater here, and uh, here's what I'm looking at. I'm going to point this video mainly at the unit, so this is a 50 gallon water heater. This water heater is a power vent water heater. Okay, this is the power vent, that's the vent, okay. This vent in this unit is a PVC vent. Okay, you wanna follow that PVC vent all the way to the outside. There's a certain way that that's supposed to be terminated, okay? We'd have to walk outside to show you. You can look up on the specs of the water heater, but basically that pipe comes out of the wall, it goes up and it used down, okay? Um, you wanna make sure that that thing is intact all the way through, that the joints are in good shape, that this is all attached, okay? This is a power vent, they're not all power vent. That means there's a motor on this thing that blows the exhaust because of where this water heater is located is too far away from an outside wall, okay? So that's number one. If you had a regular top on yours, you'd see a metal cap and a metal vent going into a flue. You wanna make sure, like you can see right here, this pipe is pitched uphill. You wanna make sure that that metal vent is pitched uphill, that the joints are sealed with a tape, okay? A met metallic tape, not duct tape. We don't use duct tape on ducts, okay? Uh, you can use duct tape on mallards, but you don't use it on duct work, okay? You need to use a foil metallic tape. Okay, right here, temperature and pressure relief valve. Before the advent of this valve, water heaters used to boil and build pressure and build pressure and build pressure. Literally, I am not joking with you, a water heater would explode, go through the roof, shoot 300 feet in the air. If you don't believe me, watch YouTube videos of people that have intentionally disabled that, okay? So what we're looking for, I gotta move these two things. Give her a yank. Is she dripping? You hear that? Okay, give her a yank, give her a pull, you see that? Okay, it should dispense water down at the bottom of the pipe. This pipe needs to be within six inches of the floor. Why? Why does it have to be within six inches of the floor? Children play in basements. That is steaming hot water. If this burner on this unit ever goes and goes and goes and blows that valve, that water could be hundreds of degrees. Six inches is the magic number that's low enough to the ground that the Uniform Building Code, Uniform Plumbing Code, International Plumbing Code, and Illinois Plumbing Code have decided is low enough that it will not burn a child in the face, okay? Um, there's got your electronic unit here. There's a gas supply, okay? You, you can spray some dish soap on these to make sure they're not leaking, okay? If you smell gas, you can buy leak detector from uh, Menards, Lowe's. Please don't go to Home Depot. I hate Home Depot. Yeah, you can go to Home Depot. I just don't like it. Okay? Up top here. Very, very, very important. You got a shutoff valve. Copper supply. That's brass. Okay? That is brass. Yellow brass. If you don't have yellow brass, you need... A dye electric union. You can not have a water heater with copper attached directly to the tank, okay? That causes a galvanic reaction. Um, the steel corrodes the copper. It starts to leak. You're going to get horrible leaks. It, the pipe could blow, flood your whole basement, you're hosed, okay? Um, trying to think about other things here. There's settings on these. All the electronics on these modern water heaters are totally different. You need to look up your name, look up your brand, find your plumber sticker, see who installed it, see what year it was put in. We don't make water heaters in this country anymore because where we are with our economy and what is expensive and what the people spend on things and what the corporate corporations wanna make. We do not make water heaters anymore in this country that are meant to last more than 10 years, okay? That water heater right there was just replaced with a Bradford White, excuse me, A.O. Smith water heater that was from 1976, okay? If your water heater has a stamp on it and it is older than 10 years old, it is gonna go. And when it's gonna go is on the day that you're getting ready 
for your sister's wedding and you have no hot water and you or your wife is crying and you got to go to a hotel to shower and get ready and the whole day is ruined. Water heaters don't go when it's 95 degrees outside and you're at the lake or on vacation, okay? They, 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 they go when you need hot water, okay? <laughs> Anyways, that's about what I got on them. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, these are simple things that you can do. A uh, common way to know that your water heater 100% needs to be replaced you see a puddle of water on the ground by it, okay? They leak out of the bottom. That's when they start to go. There's a whole nother video that is plumber's theories on anode rods, okay? A lot of plumbers go to houses and tell people to remove their anode rod. The anode rod is a rod that is inside the tank that is there. It's called a sacrificial rod. This rod is meant to corrode from the corrosive forces of water so that the water does not corrode the lining of your tank, okay? If a plumber tells you to remove that he wants to remove the anode rod, be very, very weary. I would never suggest that. Now, there is an electric anode rod and you can replace the metallic one with an electric one. The positive to that is that the anode rod doesn't corrode and give this smelly sulfur mineral smell in your water, okay? That's what people complain about. We don't have to worry about that because we call Countryside Plumbing and they come to the house and they say, no, 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 leave your anode rod in. We're just gonna put a whole house water filter in and the situation improves, okay? It's not ever your anode rod. Plumbers tell people all the time it's the anode rod and they have them take it out. Now you got a water heater, which guess what? It's only supposed to last 10 years. Now you've taken out the rod that's meant to corrode so that the tank lining doesn't corrode. Guess what's going to happen? Boom. It's wedding day. You have no hot water. Your wife's crying. Your daughter's crying. Uh, your grandma's staying there for the night and your mother-in-law because she's not getting along with your father-in-law and there's no hot water in the house. Okay, leave the anode rod in. There are a lot of other better options. Guys, Good luck out there. I hope you at least learned something here with this Homeowner 101 about water heaters. If you have any questions, uh, countrysidesewerandseptic.com. Uh, email me, mycountrysidecontractor at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.